Two boys hospitalized at this hour after they were hit by a car. The boys crossing 112th when they were hit. Police say the driver did stop, is cooperating. Tyler Lopez is live there now with what we know about this. I mean, it's just in the last 90 seconds. They have reopened 112. You may now see this van able to turn right onto 112 to go ahead and go to the east. So that is a new development. This is where the intersection, where it happened. This is the crosswalk that witnesses have described to us. They believe the boys had just gone through this crosswalk, but that'll be part of the investigation when they were hit as they tried to travel to the south. As we tweeted just a few minutes ago, we've confirmed these boys did attend nearby North Glen Middle School, just about two blocks to the south. It's unclear exactly what happened this morning. But that's exactly why police are still here working on this scene. Take a look at the video. It was a gruesome scene when we first arrived because we could see two different pairs of shoes and we feared the worst. As we understand it now, two eighth grade boys were hit in this area just after 730 this morning and the road was closed for more than three hours now. It's one of the things they'll be looking at is whether or not the boys were in the crosswalk at the time. This is a two way stop intersection, so vehicles that are going east and west on 112th do not need to stop, but they do have a school zone here where the speed limit drops from 35 to 20 miles per hour. We could see those lights flashing at the time when we arrived as police, as we said, continue to investigate. It's just unfortunate. It's sad. Um, you know, and, and also just a message to uh, the kids as well is just, you know, be careful out there as well because um, there's a lot of cars that are out there moving around and obviously when kids and cars collide it's not it's usually not a good thing. Now the driver in the case did stick around and that uh, dark colored Toyota sedan is cooperating. No word on charges. Also no word on the nature of the injuries to the boys. As we said, I talked with folks at the school, North Bend Middle School. They do have counselors on hand. They're going to notify parents about the situation in a letter that will go out later today. But certainly everyone hoping these eighth grade boys will pull through after this accident earlier this morning. We're live in North Glen. You can see the barricades leaving right now. Tyler Lopez, 7 News. All right, Tyler, thank you for the update there.